Hey guys, Max here, and uh, before the before you watch the video, uh, I'm giving you guys a quick update on the giveaway I'm having on a Faker or English account that contains both Waver and Gilgamesh, so you didn't know about that, check out the video I'm putting in the description below. But um, basically, uh, I'm updating the time that it ends, so it'll be ending on September 1st. I moved it an extra day ahead, just in case uh, more people can get in, and because I'll probably be busy uh, during that time, actually. Uh, I'll I'll be going to a convention that day, and um, uh, I probably won't have enough time to upload the video during that day because the if the giveaway was supposed to end on the 31st, and then I'll upload a video on it on the 1st of September. But I actually will probably be busy that day because of the convention, so I'll have it end on the 1st and then release it, release the winner on the 2nd. So, and uh, this is after I made this video you're about to watch about my one year anniversary on this game. And um, I said towards the end, the 2nd, I'll update it to the 2nd. I actually meant the first so sorry about that sorry if that confu confuse you but I actually said that I'm actually gonna say it now that uh, it will it, it will end on the first of September unless otherwise so so sorry about that guys enjoy the video and uh, see you guys in the next fake render video see ya hey guys Max here and welcome back to another fake render video and today marks kind of close to the first or one year anniversary of fake render on my channel uh, I've actually started uh, videos on my channel like two years ago actually with Brave Frontier but then I transitioned over to Fake Grand Order because I enjoyed this game a lot more than Brave Frontier but yeah pretty much a year ago on August 29th uh, that was my first Fake Grand Order video and it was just kind of like an introduction to my account and uh, so one year has passed from me playing Fake Grand Order, Fake Grand Order. Uh, lots of saltiness, lots of sadness, even, even hints of happiness or even tiny bits of happiness, but um, yeah, it's definitely been an interesting year. Uh, I definitely remember many memorable, memorable moments. Um, but today, I guess we kind of go down memory lane. I also pulled up a video of my original of of uh, my introduction video for, to Fake Grand Order uh, from a year ago, and I'll probably put uh, side to side with with my actual account right now. Uh, you guys probably see this when I edit, but. So yeah, it's, I want to see how far we've, how far I've come through. So the layout will be probably a little different, or actually let's just do levels here. Okay, so I'm looking. Okay, so I'm looking for the video I have right now, and it looks like the first servant, I first five star servant I ever gotten was Attila. I mean, I'm close, guys. Bond level nine, almost level ten. Uh, it's been a long time since. Uh, I got Natilla. She was my first five-star servant it, through the paid gotcha, and I don't regret that. She's still pretty strong. Uh, all her skills maxed out, level 10, 10, 10. So I'm still happy with having Attila joining my squad. And it looks like that was the first five-star I had. So after that, on and on. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. I think the next five-star I got was actually King Arthur Lancer. Uh, it was during a YOLO, a YOLO poll uh, after someone commented on my channel saying, Oh, I got King Arthur Lancer too during the raid up because she had a raid up during that time. And I think Camelot was out. Either that or it was a second, it was a second raid up after Camelot. And then I was like, Okay, I mean, let me YOLO too. And boom, I got King Arthur Lancer and she was my second five star. The next one will probably be Ilya. Uh, she's the. And for you guys that are still uh, wondering about the, I have a giveaway that's up and you guys probably see in the beginning of the channel but or beginning of the video not the channel and uh, I've you know I, I probably talked about some things in the beginning of the video and uh, I got Ilya uh, after it was funny because I got her after a CE Ilya the four star CE the, that increased the buster attack of your ser of your servant and then I got Ilya it was pretty fun it was pretty funny and it was pretty interesting that that's that's how I got Ilya so yeah she was my third servant Five star servant, sorry. And uh, I think the next one was probably John of Arc, I want to say. Yeah, I think she had. Yeah, John of Arc was the next one after that. And then I got her through the paid gotcha. And then uh, I think the next five star servant I got after that was Emmy Check's Altar. That was during the Valentine's event, which is, I think, it was like two, one month after John, John, uh, the paid, paid gotcha during New Year's. 
And uh, my next one was Meltalilith during the Fate Extra CC event. Uh, I did that one on a YOLO poll, and that was during... I want to say it was during May the 4th. I don't... Yeah, it was during May the 4th, I believe. Yeah, and I even have a full... I even have a video up for that video. Uh, for that uh, summon. I didn't summon on camera. I, I did a YOLO summon during uh, my travels on my school bus. I was doing a YOLO summon because I was... I was I was getting hyped on while well, summoning through every like every game that I possibly had during that time. Um, I was playing Fire Emblem Heroes and they had the Hero Fest, which you can pretty much uh, they have an increased rate up on like pretty much on like four of the OPest heroes in that game. I was able to get three of them. Yeah, Takumi, Hector, and Ryoma. I was able to get three of them, and then I was like, okay, let's see my luck go transfer over to Fake Grand Order. So I summoned on there, and boom, I got Meltilla. And uh, I was pretty hyped out on the bus, and I was awake throughout the entire day because I just couldn't wait to get back home and just start playing my game. And then after that, uh, I think after that, it was actually, uh, I didn't get anyone for a while until it was uh, Mrs. Mr. Ozzy during the paid gotcha during the second anniversary. And then after that was uh, good old... Uh, Sorry, I'm forgetting your name. Saber Alter. Yeah. Uh, Ozzy was on camera and Saber Alter was not on camera. It was on YOLO when I came back from my vacation trip during summer vacation when I was out when it was, when I was at Wisconsin. It was like around two or two o'clock I believe. I was just like, okay. Or two or three o'clock and then I usually think three o'clock is my summoning hour. In some case in some instances that's actually a really bad hour. Uh, but uh usually three o'clock I usually get something new. On Fake Grand Order, so I summoned on there, and boom, I got Saber Alter. It was really late, and I wasn't recording anything, so I tried to tone down my excitement. So, because my parents were still asleep. So yeah, that's pretty much my story on how I got all my five star servants. So I would say that's an interesting, uh, an interesting game in one year of getting five stars. So I probably got two guaranteed ones and four. Or five actual ones I got from the banner or from the actual summons, one percent. So I thought that was pretty cool. And definitely from here, I've gotten a lot of four star servants. Because back here, I only have like uh, from the video that uh, I have it. I only only have like very few. Oh jeez, <laughs> I have a oh, man. I feel bad now that uh, I don't. I didn't have a, a stuffalo, or I had a stuffalo. And then, like, I didn't need her anymore because I got Cyber Alter, or I think it was Cyber Alter, or it was someone, uh, a writer, and I didn't really need her anymore. Uh, I think it was Ushi that I didn't need her anymore. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll just burn a stuff away. I regret it now because I kind of like a stuff now. Not because it's a trap, but personally, I like his characters. They're all Apocrypha right now because I'm when I watch Apocrypha, he seems a really cool guy to like hang out or I don't know hang out is that the right word but uh the things he did for the main character is pretty cool I think he's chill that's why I regret uh burning him now but uh yeah I really didn't have that many four stars but holy shit I have so many now I have Frankenstein Saber I have Curl I have John of Arc Alter Santa Lily I have Saber Alter uh Santa I have Elena still I have Skahach uh back then I said Sukasaha you know, I am conflicting, conflicting between saying Sukasaha and Skahach. But now, um, I'm convinced to say Skahach because it sounds more right than Sukasaha. But yeah. And then I also got, uh, Ibraki. I think I had Ibraki back then. Uh, we got Bibi-chan. We got, we finally got much to four star. We got Emiya, or Emiya Archer. We got, um, Idisvio. We got Nitokris Assassin, or Summer. And we got Oda Nobunaga, and we got Lishuin, Lish, Lushuin, we got um, uh, Modred Summer, we got, we finally got Kentucky Rider up to f his max ascension because I was now high enough level and had the servants to actually tackle the uh, event that they had for him. Uh, we have Martha, we have uh, both Nitocris Caster, the original one, and we have Mary Caster. We finally got Nursery Ron to force to her max ascension. We got Kitsugu. We got we got Frankenstein Berserker. We got Lancelot Berserker, and uh, oh yeah, there are these down here that I didn't bother to level up yet. But wait, not bother, but to uh, 
I don't have I have time, but like I'm too lazy to. So we have Shiki. Still sad that I can't level her up because I need a secondary assassin, and sometimes Kahak cannot do the job. Uh, we have a Tam Tamamo Cat. Uh, forget to le keep leveling her up because I already have too many Berserkers to use. So she's kind of just sitting there. We got Ishtar from the recent summer event. We got Chacha. We got uh, Elizabeth Balthory Saber. We got Chevalier Dion. We got Mary. F we got Mary as a writer. We got Edison. We got um, freaking Elizabeth B Balthory Caster. We got s two extra copies of Skahawk because I forgot. I mean, I did that during the event. And then we got uh, Stenol. We got so many four stars, guys. Ever since. Like, so much more since the beginning of the game. That. But just the beginning of the game since I've actually played this. Just so many four stars. Just so many gold servants. Uh, and then uh, for all the four, three star servants. I guess they kind of stayed the same. Because I got most of them already. Are the ones I want to use. Except, sorry, Jin K. I'm trying to level you up. Because you're level 26. And you're my first servant, so I plan to level you up. Just not now. Uh, but yeah, pretty much all the servants I have back then are probably either max ascended or I'm just too lazy to still. Or I just keep forgetting about them. Because sometimes I forget that they're actually servants I got, so I kind of burn them without. or s burn or uh, feed them off to other servants on accident. So that's my fault. But yeah, pretty much uh, I did gain a lot of servants during my one year uh, with playing Faker in order. And uh, I guess we could check out the I guess we could check out the CEs we got. So dang, we got so many CEs during that time. Uh, most of these are all just the Valentine's one, level 8080, and then all the special CEs you get from like the small uh, events you have. So that's a lot, and I pretty much still have most of the original cards, and I still use them. I still use the Fate Zero one. I still use the... I think this is the... What should I call it? Uh, the Journey to the West event they had. Was it really an event? I don't... Yeah, it was an event. It was an event. I was trying to think about it right now. And then uh, we still use the Summary Event CE, because I love that CE. Uh, still use the Chaldea Boys. Uh, yeah, the one with Alexander and Waver, or Lu, uh, Lu Zeong, Lu Zeong, and, uh, yeah. We gained, we gained a decent amount of CEs in the past year as well. A lot of them were copies because of the reruns, so I always had them maxed out, limber breaked, or whatnot. But definitely there were a lot of new ones that, uh, that I never had before. Especially, of course, during the reruns, there's always a part three. During those reruns, so I was able to get those, and I also got the New Year's event CE. And uh, don't ask why I still have these CEs, not limit break, because I personally like them by themselves, just for the free guts. So that's why I always keep them in stock, just in case. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, so uh, this was yeah, this is the Okamori doing the second anniversary. I haven't uploaded a certain video yet, so. I'm just saying that right now. I thought this was uh, the Agatha Berserker, and I thought it was Attila, but it's actually, uh, but it's actually uh, Mary, uh, not uh, or the director. I Olga, there you go. Olga, yeah. I don't know why I think it's Mary. Uh, Olga, there you go. And then, dang, this CE is old as well from the Journey to the West. I don't know if we're actually gonna get it again. It was kind of just a promotion for. Uh, Xuanzang. But uh, eventually we'll get it back. And then I have all these like, EXP CEs because I just keep it even though I'm running out of space soon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the CEs. I have so many. Too bad I don't have the cost to use most of them. And my support lists have definitely changed. Uh, oh, well, this is my main setup currently because the event's still going on. I'm too lazy to farm out any or all of the materials. I only farm them for the ones I really need, like the metals, uh, the statues, uh, what else? Some other stuff that I'm running low on. Other than that, I don't really farm out all the other things, and I should because uh, 
I'm definitely running out sooner or later. I definitely need those sooner or later. And I could definitely farm for the QP because you always need QP. And of course, the main team is slightly different. Or, well, Attila's not here because I was doing. I was trying to go fight against the. Uh, so you can get. Uh, so I was trying to fight the challenge quest so you can get uh, Ishtar in them. Be to have MP5, but I got too lazy. And uh, we definitely have a lot more quartz than. Uh, I don't know if I short showed my quartz back then. Uh, no, I did not. I just kind of just went on there. Oh no, I did. Uh, let's see. Going back at the, I don't know. It's like all the way at the end, no? Uh, it's like a very small. Yeah. Uh, one year I had 85 quartz and 15 tickets, and now I have 439 quartz. And three tickets even though this is like a year and of course I have summoned on banners you guys have probably seen that but it's just an interesting how long I've uh, been in this game and currently right now you see is that they have like a they're gonna have a small uh, servant class uh, servant class what should I call it uh, right up so archers casters lancers and all that it's not paid gotcha so if it was I definitely do I'd definitely pay for more but uh, looks like we're running on 15 minutes right now, so it's a pretty long video. So sorry about that, guys. But just kind of a big overview on what's been happening in a year of my figure and order experience. Uh, definitely, uh, I know it's definitely late because I did. I was trying to do it yesterday, but I was playing Destiny 2 PC beta, and I had fun despite my really bad computer. But uh, I had fun, and I just kept playing, and I just completely forgot about uh, recording a video for today, or it was going to be uploaded today, but now it's going to be uploaded tomorrow, so by the time you can see this, it's going to be the 31st of August, and uh, just, and then according to my give, according to the video, like, or kind of the small update I gave out in the beginning of the video, I have updated the, I have updated the giveaway that will be, well, that will last until the 2nd of September, because I'll be going to a convention, actually, uh, on the 1st of September, it's just a small anime convention in my, my area in Minnesota. So if you live in Minnesota, uh, I'll be going to Metacon, uh, $30 at the door, $37 for the whole weekend. Um, I'm just going out for the, I'm just going off that one day just to see what, just to see what the heck, cause I've only been to like very small conventions. I know this one's pretty small as well, but I just want to see if there's any, anything interesting there. But uh, I'll probably post up more information later on my Twitter for those that are following me on Twitter. And might as well start going out with my outro. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Comment on whatever you want. Just nothing. Just just keep that in mind. Just make it make it make it not too not too much, right? And then uh, uh, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter for any of my regular updates on videos on other games. You can even tweet me. Uh, your summonings you can like even tweet me ideas on what, what you might want for my channel to be And uh, I also I have a patreon down description uh, down in the description. You don't have to do it uh, I just put it there just in case anyone's interested But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the long video, but uh, It's just a lot of information because we have we had a, a long year figure and on this channel So yeah Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next Figure Nerd video. See ya!